that movement and message starting with students at Staley High School, a fellow student was killed in a suspected hate crime. The kids say they want to do their part to stop hate. KMBC 9's Peggy Wright is live with how. Peggy? Well, Lara, 15 year old Adam Sheikh Hussein was killed right outside the Somali mosque in December. It was a hit and run. Adam's death hit his Staley school community hard. So the kids in English language learning classes decided to do something about it. Enough is enough. It's time to join hands and stop the hate. We're spreading awareness of how everyone is equal, and we want to. We don't want people to die or just get hurt because they're different than someone else. The students have caught fire and it's spreading. They've already begun fundraising for a foundation in Adam's honor, raising $3,000 in a coin drive and t-shirt sales. This is like all equality, everybody's equal. The equal sign, this is an E, another E, enough is enough, which is our slogan. And they're planning a peace walk at the school for February 7th. First, it was announced to fellow students, but it's moved beyond that now, even gaining support from the mayor. And they're utilizing social media to the max. What we're trying to do here is repress hate with love. By doing that, we're going to be, if we do the peace work, we need all the parents to bring their uh, children because we're trying to uh, educate the younger generation. On a walk through the school, participants will learn about hate crimes, but they'll also have fun. An awareness campaign organizers hope will spread even further. That's the world we live in nowadays, and we got to do something about it before it's too late. The students are hoping for a large turnout on February 7th. It's free and will be held from 3 until 5 at Staley High School. Information about hate crimes on the top floor, information about peace, love, and opportunity on the lower floor. You can also get a hold of one of those Enough is Enough t shirts for just $10. Reporting live in Kansas City, Peggy Bright, KMBC 9 News.